One day you're good, one day you're not. One day you have everything at your fingertips, and the next day you're gasping for air and, and you can't walk. Life is short. Yeah, don't take it for granted. trips and then finish with the kasan. I cannot wait. Hyperbaric chambers trip where you get like they pick you up from your room and they wheel you down this like these long corridors. Almost feels like the shining. You can hear all these different sounds. And your mind just starts eating on you. All of a sudden you're you're freaking out. You know you're going into this chamber and you're gonna and they're gonna take you down to depth and it, and it's it seems like it's not that scary, but it's pretty scary because you got all this oxygen you gotta breathe and all these little things and and it was scary and every time I'd look at the people and say hi and they would say something in French and I didn't know what the hell was going on. And I just knew that well, I was basically st strapped down to a, a gurney and I, you had, you're just like a guppy, just nothing to do but just breathe. And that was it, it was just breathe for life. And and it wasn't even for like life, it was, it was hard, it was like, you didn't know if it was for life or it wasn't for, you, even, that, even being paralyzed, that, it was just kind of like breathing just to stay alive. At that point, I was just trying to stay alive. There was, it was my lungs were filled with water, my heart was filled with water, or liquid, and I wasn't even, I mean, I knew I was paralyzed, but it was worse than being paralyzed because I didn't think I'd live. So, just breathe that air every day, every second that I was down there, trying to just breathe it, it's hard. 